Hello everyone, welcome to Automation Community. In this session, we are going to see about one more conversion instruction in Omron PLC. This is FLT and FLTL. So what it is going to do, it is going to convert the binary value to the floating number. And what is this FLT, that is for 16 bit and FLT long, floating point number. Okay, long is for 32 bit. So 16 bit binary value and 32 bit binary value can be used to convert to floating point using these instructions. Okay, so here also we are having a source word and the result word. Alright, so you have to give which one you want to convert that in the source word. Binary value have to be given to the source word and after executing this instruction you will be getting the result as floating point in result word. Oh, that is source word. This is result word. Source is the input and the result is the output. Okay. So, let's see that in the software. FLT. Let's add one input here. FLT. I am giving the address. Okay. So, let's connect. And go for online. Let's add the watch table. I'm giving the address D100, D200. That's it. Okay. You can see here. Value and this one I'm going to change the data type as real. All right. So let's use a value here. We have to give some value now. I'm giving okay. I'm giving some random value here. Now turn on this. So you are getting the float value 7654 dot. So what and all value you are giving here that will you are getting that into the float. Okay. Now so this is 16 bit to floating. And what is one more instruction we are having which is 32 bit. So we will give the same as this 0 0.00. And yeah, F L T L. So here I'm giving D three hundred to D four. That is the result. Add this, and here this one I'm not giving it. So add your D three hundred and D301 because this is a 32 bit no. So D400 and D400. Fine. Let's go for the simulation. Okay. I'm going to change this as 3 and So that we can see easily. Right. Now give some value to D300. See, here the range is different. Look at this. Since it is a 16 bit, the range is minus 3 to 7, 6, 8 to plus 3 to 7, 6, 7. But here the range is doubled. Okay, that's what this is called as long. I'm giving some value. Let's give some value here. Let's run it. You have to split them here. Let's turn on this input. 
Now you can see the floating point moment. Okay, so it's a real no, so it's a thirty two bit data. So you can see it in the D four hundred elements. So this is how you need to convert the binary value to the floating point number. Simple, right? So I'll meet you in a session with another conversion instruction. Kindly like and subscribe our channel for more updates and videos. Thank you.